What's up? Welcome into the Recruiting Roundup brought to you by IBEW Local 640. I'm Claudia Collins. We're coming off of Rivalry Week. The regular season is behind us and 4A through 6A playoffs take place starting on Thursday. Last week, we saw Chandler play Hamilton in the battle for Arizona Avenue, and we saw Liberty play Centennial in the number one game in the country ranked by Max Preps. But let's jump into talking about some of the talent we saw in these games. And we'll start with a commitment over at Chandler. Immediately following the Wolves 49 to 13 win over Hamilton in the battle for Arizona Ave, Chandler wide receiver Jackson Branch committed to Eastern Washington. Branch talked about why he committed after the game, what he likes about Eastern Washington, and how he sees himself fitting in. You know, I was just excited. Uh, I had this plan for a while now, but, you know, after the dub, you know, it made it feel so much better and exciting. And my team with me celebrating and skunking them like that is crazy, man. You know, we was just doing what we do. They just, they just felt like family to me. I went out there on my OV like a couple couple weeks ago and it just felt like home. I really connected with the guys and stuff. They pass the ball a lot. So, you know, I'm a big receiver that they need. All the guys over there are short, you know, so uh, I think I'll be able to fit in that role, get the ball, play as a true freshman. What I also thought was really cool was that Jackson actually talked about what a vital role Khalil Valentine played in his recruitment. He said that Khalil drove coaches to want to visit Chandler, and when they got to see Khalil, they also got to see Jackson and his other teammates and help push their recruitment. Khalil had a standout night against the Huskies with three touchdowns. The four-star running back committed to the University of Illinois over the summer and has been supporting his teammates through their recruitment. And as far as playing the Huskies go, this game was a little more personal for him. It was great. I love my guys. I love this team. I was saying all, all night. I love this team. I love to play with these guys. Jackson, we, when I came out here from California my freshman year, he was the one who bringing me in. And I just love my guy. My guy's going to compete every day. And I told him before the game, I said, we need you this game. We need you to compete and, and win one-on-ones. And that's exactly what he did. It definitely was a lot in my mind because I haven't played against these guys since my freshman year. They didn't play my sophomore year. I was hurt my junior year. So I definitely wanted to come out and be able to play against these guys and I, I think I showed what I can do. One thing that I always hear from Chandler players and alumni is that the Wolves know how to get guys ready for the next level. And they run their lifts, their practices, their meetings, and everything in between like a college football program. Over on the west side, we got to see a showdown between number one Liberty and number two Centennial. And when you go to watch Liberty, you're there to see their offense led by quarterback Navi Bruzan. Last Friday night, the dynamic duo against the Coyotes was clearly Bruzon and wide receiver Braylon Gardner. The duo put together a 67-yard touchdown and a 75-yard touchdown to help seal the 36-17 victory over Centennial. And both of these guys are players that head coach Colin Thomas feels are definitely under-recruited. Well, the problem is they worry about what he's not instead of worrying about what he is. And he's the best leader. He's the most intelligent. He's the best playmaker, you know, that you're going to find. Um, it's been an amazing experience to coach him. And, you know, he does more coaching than I do sometimes. I mean, he's that kind of, you know, person. So we're lucky to have him. And whoever gives him an opportunity will be very thankful that they do. You want a guy who can make plays? Right, he's done it all year. Right, look, look through his year. He's done it all year. He had a broken arm in week two and missed two games and played the rest of the year. So he's played with like a broken arm pretty much most of the year. And uh, he's made plays in big games, you know, really his whole career. So very proud of him too. Thomas says that this year with players like Navi and Braylon, they've got all of the experience and the skill that they need to win an open division state title. That's all for this edition of the Recruiting Roundup. For more recruiting news, head to sports360az.com.